everybody. This is Mike. Um, today we're going to try something a little bit different. Um, it's been a couple years since we've had buyers come into town. And today we have one of our longest standing customers, uh, Zentis. Um, I have Cord and Badia with me. Uh, they come from Germany. Um, they're coming through the valley trying to assess the almond market, assess the almond crop. So without further ado, Cord, would you uh, maybe introduce the company a little bit? Yeah, we are working for a company Zentis, as Mike mentioned, um, a company traditionally um, producing food based product coming from the food side, but also um, doing something different uh, since many, many years. So Zentis is more than or almost 130 years old, yeah, uh, quite traditional. It's a family owned business. Um, the family is still around. Um, and giving good advice sometimes and uh, sometimes even coming to the company and uh, checking out our products, uh, checking the design and uh, also being interested in obviously the pricing and the supply side. Um, we so are, God, we are there since we are 1893, yeah? Sorry? 1893. Yeah. yeah it's I mean, we started uh, working for Zentis a little bit later. <laughs> yeah, obviously, for sure. Right? Uh, and I think people here, it's, it's hard to see. I mean, we had a 25-year anniversary party. We thought, wow, that's we've yeah. been in business a long time. You know, so I think I think it's a... Uh, it is, it is amazing to see that, especially with a, an engaged family, uh, Dr. Zentis, like you were mentioning earlier. Yeah. Sounds like he still goes to some of the trade shows every once in a while. And yeah. And it's impressive. And he's always interested. I mean, if we have uh, suppliers around, I mean, and he is, by coincidence, in the office. I mean, he yeah. pops by and he has been buying almonds himself many yeah. years ago, yeah. right? And uh, Super cool. he still follows the pricing. And if uh, we mentioned uh, the actual prices, he says, oh, my goodness. I mean, I've seen I haven't seen this for a long time. Yeah. Um, and uh, he still remembers. Right. And it's That's uh, great. It's really interesting and really fantastic to see this. But beside um, <clears throat> the fantastic products, which we will show you uh, in a minute, we are producing also food preparation for the dairy industry. So, mm -hmm. for example, Jobani is one of our big customers in the Chobani US. Jobani yogurt. Jobani yep. yogurt, yep. exactly. Yep. We are also producing jam for the uh, German market. And we are kind of um, a global player. So we have factories, uh, two factories in the US, producing food preparation. Yep. We have another factory in Hungary, another factory in Poland, sales office in Russia, and uh, two big factories in Germany for fruit preparation, for jam, and for confectionery business. And, and I might have just missed the last point, but mostly you're producing your almond uh, marzipan in Germany, right? Yes. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And now maybe you guys could talk a little bit about uh, maybe Badia. You could tell us, maybe start with what is marzipan, how mm. it's made, and then maybe show sure. us some of your products. Sure. So I'm responsible for marketing and sales at the confectionery business. And uh, yeah, we are buying the almonds directly from here, from California, from you, from you as you grow us. Yeah. And um, yeah, what we are doing is uh, we are blanching the almonds. We are taking the skin off. So hot, it's a hot water process. Yes, hot mm -hmm. water process. Uh, we have to be really careful um, with this process. Um, and um, yeah, then we are grinding the almonds. Mm -hmm. uh, we are blending them with sugar and um, we are creating a really smooth paste mm -hmm. really smooth it's soft yeah it's soft it's very nice i mean we have here for instance a product which we created um, it has content of content of 54 percent almond mm. and what do we use this product for i mean uh, this has been used in germany for a long time as a baking uh, uh, raw material, yeah, so ingredient to ingredient, baking. Exactly. I get home baking, mm -hmm. home things like baking, that, yeah. exactly. So, especially in the last years during Christmas, Eastern, uh, the families were at home yeah. because COVID happened. Yeah. Uh, the people to be more at home, right? Uh, less traveling, uh, more baking, more uh, yeah, doing stuff at home and together with the family. It's the family thing, you know. Yeah. And uh, so this marzipan rope is a really important product here, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very nice. It's soft. And, and there's a uh, there's there's a like you were saying, it's fifty four percent almonds. There's a there's a benchmark, right? There's oh, yes. a there's I can't just go make almond or uh, marzipan 
and mm -hmm. and call it marzipan, no. right? There's there's no. a certain criteria that you have to hit, yes. right? I mean, Germany is a lot about regulations. We have to say, huh? yeah, no, I mean, sure. very uh, precise, uh, everything, very important. Yeah. The, the beer regulation, yeah. it's the Reinheitsgebot, huh? how yeah. you say in German. Yeah, um, yeah. and yeah. we have uh, a lot of other regulations, also regulation for marzipan. Otherwise, you cannot call the product marzipan. Yeah. And um, it, yeah, it has something to do with the almond content, how it's being processed, what's inside the product. It's a really, we are talking about natural products, which we are right. producing. In our whole factory in, in Germany, we only pr process natural products and there's no artificial flavorings, yeah. etc. inside the product. And this is one item, it's, it's, it's for, for bakery. Yeah. Maybe more traditional, right? This would be more of a traditional yeah. product that you guys have produced for a long time. Yeah, but but it's modern now. I mean, right. as I mentioned, it's... But it's, you guys are making it a little bit more modern. Right? Yes. You yes, know, yes, you, yes. you guys are coming up with more products. There's a R and d pipeline kind of that yeah. we had been talking about mm -hmm. a little bit That's earlier, true. where you guys are really actually trying to find out how what other applications can be used. I know we, we tried it with the bag is open because we couldn't wait, but it is a <laughs> it is a chocolate coated yes. marzipan filled uh, salty caramel uh, product. And I, I hadn't tried that before. And to be honest, I'd had I tried marzipan before and kind of thought, ah, I'm not that excited about it. Mm. Yeah, but when I tried something like that, I said, like, okay, I could see that being something that people would, you know, a guy like myself would say, you know, I, I'm going to go buy that. You know, so I think marzipan it seems like you guys are doing something a little bit different than I've I've seen in the past. Yeah, lo looking back to the process which we uh, which I mentioned before, I mean we have this marzipan, the yeah. paste, and then we are working on it. I mean, we have we are we have a chocolate coating on the marzipan. We have a filling, and that's a special one now here. It's a new product. Uh, salted caramel is a big topic uh, everywhere in all the chocolate products or in uh, confectionery, and here we have a small mini um, bar yeah. and uh, this product uh, maybe you just have a look I mean, yeah you, yeah you no. tried it before it, it, I it's think, really good but uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's oh, another one for me you. yeah yeah you, you almost <laughs> ate for the you, whole box I didn't <laughs> want to give you I mean, yeah. so it's so it, it, you know I mean here it is it's a it's a small relatively small chocolate uh, coated um, a thin little layer of marzipan. This is maybe, uh, I think somebody called it food porn a little bit. You can see it here, you know, uh, and it's salted caramel inside. You know, I, I mm. think that, you know, you guys also have a, um, a, a coconut marzipan chocolate bar, which again, I, mm -hmm. I don't think we've seen in the past. Yes, we yeah. have here. That's, that's a bar. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, 40 gram. I don't know how much ounce this is now, but um, 40 gram, you can see it. Um, this is coconut, coconut flavor. Yep. We are working on a bar also now, salted caramel. Mm. So it will be, I, I, our uh, product development just showed it to me just before I arrived here. Yeah. Don't tell anybody because... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll edit this out. Um, well, uh, I, I tried it and I mean, I like this this creamy taste. It really yeah. The caramel came out of this bar and yeah. it was like full of yeah. caramel. And yeah, that's great. Uh, together in combination with marzipan and chocolate, it was uh, amazing. So maybe great. along those lines, we can talk about, you know, we've, one of the fears here is as we have, um, you know, the logistical issues we've had throughout mm -hmm. this season exporting, I'm sure you guys have had issues importing as well. One of the fears has been, how is this affecting consumption, true consumption? Are there shortages on the shelves of almond products? Maybe marzipan would be a good example, you know, or, or are you guys seeing growth in, in your product lines? I mean, the, the shortages is something also depending on the logistics, um, but um, we, what we see and looking back, especially at the Christmas business and Easter business now, we see a growth. I mean, the people, they, they, they want to treat themselves yeah. and they want to do eat something nice and, mm. um, yeah, and especially natural products. Yeah. I mean, it's there are not so many ingredients in this right. product, you know? Yeah. It's, it's Relatively chocolate. simple, yeah. yeah. Some yeah. chocolate, marzipan, and sometimes uh, here we have a raspberry uh, flavor, you yeah. know? But it's all natural, and that's really important. Yeah, so you guys are seeing growth even in the face of these logistical issues we've had. Yes. Okay, yes, and okay, I mean, I think, that, I think that that's really, you know, what uh, you know, what we've been asking ourselves this whole time is, you know, what is this, what ramifications is this really going to have for everybody? And has the logistical issues in other ways uh, hurt or helped your business at all? No, I mean, in the end, it's a nightmare for us, right? Because yeah. this means uh, we need to manage our stocks uh, in advance. We need to 
uh, get product in our warehouse on stock in time yeah. just to be sure that we can produce. Um, so it'll be really who has the stock really wins at the end of the day. Exactly. Right? Right. So it'll be yeah. more financial wherewithal for you guys to have more inventories, Definitely. things like that. But it's just kind of the way the world's yeah. working today. Because the problem is, I mean, you can say put the product only one time, right? And right. Um, for the season of business, Easter and, and Christmas, if the product is not there, then you cannot sell it, right? And right. I get that. That's Ma the issue. Maybe yeah. one more really important point for me is yeah, there are a lot of grower probably viewing this show. Mm -hmm. And um, the job they are doing is so important to us because we are known for really high quality products. And as m almonds are the base, the fundamental of our product, the quality which are, is delivered to us is yeah. essential for our success. Yeah. And this is also what we as a company really appreciate and we can just yeah. give the compliments yeah. for our quality to, to you outside there. Yeah, and I, th and I think everybody right now is, uh, you know, kind of got their head down as input costs are uh, going higher than they've probably ever been with a uh, really a depressed market price for mm -hmm. our products because of these logistical issues. You know, I think um, I think everybody wants to really hear that, look, we're seeing that growth that you guys are talking about, right? They, you know, what they're doing is appreciated. Now they just want to see a little bit of a higher price. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> with that, with all that being said, you guys, you know, we really just want to thank you for your business. You guys have been uh, a customer, a customer of ours for a very long time, um, and we hope that our future is just as good or better than our past has been with you guys. So, thank you very much for making the trip out to see us, and thank you. Have a safe trip home. Thank you. Thanks a yeah. lot. Thanks. Thank you, guys.